Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy KB and today I'm gonna show you how to play PUBG mobile game on your computer. So first of all, we have to get the Android emulator so we can play the PUBG mobile game on our computer. So there are many choices for the Android emulator. We can download any Android emulator from the internet and play the PUBG mobile game on it. But there is a small problem that not all Android emulators can play the PUBG mobile game smoothly. So after doing lots of tests with multiple Android emulators, I found that the Nox player runs the PUBG mobile game without any problem. At least it runs the PUBG mobile game better than any other Android emulator. So my suggestion is that if you want to play the PUBG mobile game on your computer, then you should try the Nox player. To get the Nox player, you have to visit this site bignox.com. I will put link in the description. You can go there and visit this site. Once you are here, you will see there is a big download button. You just have to click on it to start downloading the Nox player. And if you have a Mac computer, then you can also install the Mac version of Nox player. Just click on Mac version and it should start downloading the Nox player for Mac. So Nox player works with Windows PC and Mac. The installation is really simple. You just have to install it as you install the regular programs. So once you have installed the Nox player, you will see two new icons on your desktop. One is Nox and one of them is multi drive. Now you can just open the Nox and play the PUBG mobile game on it. But the default Android version on Nox is Android KitKat. So there is a new Android version, Android Lollipop for Nox. So if you wanna play the PUBG mobile game on your computer smoothly, then you have to get the Android Lollipop version of Nox Player. So to get the Android Lollipop on your Nox, then you have to click on Multi Drive, open it. Once it opens the Multi Drive, you will see you will have this Nox Player only instance just one instance but i have created the android lollipop of nox player so i can play the pubg mobile game smoothly so if you want to get the android lollipop on nox then you have to click on add emulator and after that you can see we have an option new emulator android 5.1.1 if you create the new emulator then it will create the android kitkat version of android emulator but we want to get the android lollipop version of nox player so we just have to click on new emulator android 5.1.1 just click on it now it should download and create the new android lollipop version of nox player so now i can run it so i have already done it as you can see i have two nox players here one of them is default this one and one of them is android 5 so you can rename it whatever you want now it's time to start the nox android 5 i'm just gonna click on play button and it should launch the android lollipop nox and i can close the multiple instance manager and as you can see this is the loading screen of android lollipop 5 nox and uh, it should take like 10 to 15 seconds it depends on your computer speed so my computer is pretty good i mean decent and here is my system info i have 8 gigabyte of ram i7 and gtx 1050 ti and you can also change the theme so i have selected the blue theme default it will be black so you can choose any theme that you want but we want to play the pubg mobile game so i'm not gonna go deep into the nox player so once you are here inside the nox player you will see it looks like a android phone now here you will see there is a one folder called google we have to open it and after that you can see there is a application google play store we have to open it and when you use this for the first time you have to sign in with your google account then it will let you download the games and applications from the google play store so i have already done signing in so i'm just gonna search for pub g and i can hit enter and you can see i have already installed the pubg mobile game so in your case it will say install and then after that you can play the pubg mobile game once you have installed the pubg mobile game you have to open it this is the time when we play the pubg mobile game when the game is loading i'm gonna show you the settings for my nox player so in advanced settings you can set the cpu ram resolution and all that kind of stuff so you can see i have set the four cpu four gigabyte of ram but you can set the two cpu and two gigabyte of ram 
if you have a good computer then this is the recommended setting for the Nox player so I have set 4 CPU 4 GB of RAM you can set 2 CPU 3 GB RAM or 2 GB so it depends on your PC specs if you have a low spec PC then like 1 CPU or 2 CPU select 2 GB of RAM or uh, in resolution i have set the 1080p if you want to select the 720p if your computer is low spec then you can also go with the 720p it will be much smoother because if you select the higher settings nox player might lag if you see any lag then turn down the settings and this is my setting for my nox player because my pc can handle the high settings now i just started this game so i can show you how to use your keyboard and mouse to play this game so first thing you need to know that uh, if you play the PUBG mobile game on the Nox player it will automatically download the keyboard and mouse settings for the game. So you can just straight use the you know WASD key to move your character and left click to shoot the people so just like you do on the PC games and but if you want to custom what 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 somebody's shooting me wait wait wait. I don't know where is he somebody shooting me wait let me let me kill that guy okay he was disturbing us now we can proceed <laughs> okay so as I said it will automatically download the settings for the game but if you want to customize any key combination for the game you can do that so you have to click on the on the right side you have to click on the keyboard control icon just click on that and left side it will open the keyboard control settings here we can see lots of options for the game and if you hover your mouse on any options you can see it will give you the hint where do you have to use these options as you can see on the first icon drag a button to the direction control so which is like where we move our character so it's already there as you can see and but if you want to co configure the key mapping then you can do it manually like that as you can see now it's here so you just have to hover your mouse and it will give you a hint and you just have to drag on the point where you want to use these actions and you can also use specific keyboard key for any action just like let's say as you can see here, right here space so I can choose like X for jump we just have to click on X and it will turn into a X. Let's say we have to map this jump key. There is if I now let me save this first and uh, as you can see I can move my character but when I press the space it won't jump because we haven't set the key. So let me go into the con keyboard control setting again and I'm just gonna click on it. Just click and after that press space. Now it has set the space key to jump our character so I'm just gonna save it and uh, now if I move and like press the space button as you can see my character is jumping so this is how you set the keyboard and mouse settings for the game it is a bit complicated but you know if you can read the stuff then it is easy you can see by yourself that it shows us a hint that what will they do on your game that these options so yeah that's it that's how you set the keyboard controls for the game but if you don't want to do manual key mapping then you can just use the default uh, settings for the keyboard and mouse and there is a one more thing i want to show you is that if you go into the keyboard control settings and here you can see we have opacity settings so you can see the keyboard map so I have if I set the opacity to 60 or anywhere just I'm gonna save it and we can see that we have a actions here we can see the keyboard uh, buttons for the specific action when you remember it you just go back into the setting and turn down the opacity and save it and it won't disturb the gameplay as you can see i i can't see the opacity of keyboard settings so yeah uh, i mean <laughs> this is a bit complicated process but uh the great thing that nox player downloads the settings for your game so 
yeah, there is no problem. As you can see here, I can play the PUBG Mobile game without any problem. I haven't done any keyboard settings. I just have to remember, as you can see, one more guy, one more victim here. No, 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 reload, really? Okay, let me kill this guy so I can finish the tutorial. Okay, he's dead. And as you can see, this is how you play the PUBG Mobile game using your mouse and keyboard. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping that you understand it, I guess. <laughs> Even if you didn't, then uh, you can also go into the official site of the Nox player and there you can learn more about the keyboard key mapping. So it will be easier for you to understand how to use keyboard key mapping tool inside the Nox player and you know, all that kind of stuff. And you can also go to the full screen. We have a full screen option here as you can see I can go full screen now I can play this game in full screen and as you can see here it looks like a I'm playing a real PUBG game on PC <laughs> that's it I think that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe I will put link in the description for the Nox player you can go there and get this and uh, yeah that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.